this is Matt from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. Alright, uh, what we have is a Whirlpool bottom freezer. Customer's complaint is that they're getting water that's leaking out of the bottom of the freezer. When you pull the bottom drawer out, you've got a layer of ice underneath here, uh, which is an indication that the drain line is going to be frozen. So what we're going to have to do is Remove everything from the freezer, get back behind the back panel, break up all the ice, thaw the drain line out, and snake it. And we're going to install a new grommet kit, uh, an updated grommet, to allow the water to flow a little bit more freely. The tools we need for this repair are a turkey baster, a four-way or a putty knife, a small flathead screwdriver, and a quarter-inch nut driver or a quarter inch bit on a drill. Alright, we're going to go ahead and remove well you don't actually fully have to remove them, just loosen the four screws. There's two on each side. And then you can just lift it right up and off. Pull this basket out. Set this off to the side. And to remove this basket, we've got two screws on each side, quarter inch. piece will sort of lift lift up a little bit pull the basket out and then we've got two little tabs on each side and basically you take a little flathead screwdriver to press the tab and pull up and it kind of releases it Get right out. All right, now we're going to remove the ice maker. One fillet or one quarter inch on the bottom that you totally remove, and then there are two quarter inches that it kind of hangs on. You can just loosen them. Well, the back one's going to have to come all the way out, actually. The ice maker will drop down. You just have your connector there to press and remove. Okay, we're going to remove the cover piece here. We've got three tabs. One up in the far corner, and one in the front. If you get two of them off, there's your tabs. One there, one there, and then one that's right up in the bottom that snaps into the front. You got one here, one here. So what you do is you stick your screwdriver up through the top hole there, and just push the tab over. And then on this cover piece, just stick your screwdriver in, unlock that tab, pull your thermistor out, slide that through, and you've got four quarter inch screws that are holding the back panel in. Once you have it out, pull your rack out here, grab it right in the center, 
pull your back panel down. And what we're connected by is just the ice maker harness there. So we're going to take a flathead screwdriver and just push the two tabs back in. Access to the drain pan. All right, so what we're going to do is just take a putty knife and sort of wedge it right up underneath there. So we can break up some of the ice on the bottom. Just. Break all this up. I have a towel handy. Alright, so what we're going to do now, we've got still all this water that's frozen up along this drain pan here. We're going to just take some hot water and a turkey baster and just sort of start spraying some, some hot water up into the pan and melting all this ice up in here. Well, I just try to be careful with fins, make sure you don't really bend them up and mangle them too much because that's they need to have sufficient space for air to flow between them. I mean, if you bend a couple out of shape, it's not going to really hurt anything, but just kind of want to be careful. All right, well, we got our drain line cleared, got all the ice freed up and cleared out of the way, so we're going to go ahead and put our back panel on. Sort of have to flex the back panel just a little bit. Make sure you pull your thermistor up over the top. There. And you gotta reach in from the other side. Feed your ice maker fill tube through. And also the connector to the ice maker. So you can take your finger, sort of, sort of feed this piece through here, snap that in, and make sure your thermistor comes up over the top. have to put your screws in the back and I've got an extension on my drill right now just for filming purposes cover this is just gonna basically snap right up into place and this one here feed the thermistor through snap it in you got these two ears that go in right there and that snaps into place we're gonna reconnect our ice maker we're gonna go ahead feed it up through the fill tube and then hang it on the one screw that we have still there we've got it hanging here we're gonna go ahead and put our other screw So we've got the two screws tightened down that hang it. And then we've got the one more down here at the bottom. The ice breaker's mounted. Just hook your connector in there. Okay, now we're ready to put the upper rack in. The upper rack, set it down in. And it'll slip underneath. Go ahead and set those back down. And the easiest way to have this lined up is to actually push it, push it all the way back in and reach your hands up in there on those pieces that you depress the tabs on and just push straight down 
That way you know it's not going to be crooked when you lock it into place. And then we've got the two screws here on each side. Put those back in. Make sure it slides freely. This just drops right into place. Like so. We're going to go ahead and set the door back on. Just sets right down into these grooves here. And then you tighten your screws back on. Always tighten these screws kind of like lug nuts on a car. Top right, top left, lower right. And just kind of get it in a cross pattern. Make sure that's sliding freely. Make sure your gasket's sealing properly on both sides. If you have any issues, kind of loosen up your screws, close it, and then pull it back out and sort of tighten your, re-tighten your screws. Sometimes if you get one side too tight or a little offset, you might not get a good seal on your gasket. So now we're going to pull the unit out and replace the grommet on the back side. All right, we're just going to go ahead and take the back panel off. Just kind of a tight squeeze here. Don't have a whole lot of room on the water line, but we're going to try to get a shot of it. up on your power cord. Pull that out of the way. I've got the unit unplugged. Right up on the inside here, you can kind of reach your hand up in. You'll feel a tube that's coming down. And there's your grommet. And you can see this one's all full of dirt. And the opening on this is very, very small. Mm -hmm. Well, the top one's one that we removed and we are going to be replacing it with this one which is called the duck bill. It's got a much larger opening and it's even longer. Just going to prevent it from getting plugged up with dirt. The, these other ones here, they, this one was full of dirt and debris which ends up causing a slow drain and causing it to, to back up. So if you clear the drain line without replacing this, chances are you'll be doing it again in a few months. So we're going to put this new grommet on not going to be really able to get a good shot of it, but it just, there's a plastic tube coming down about two inches, and this just slips right up over the tube, and you want it angled going uh, front to back. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com.